A miracle on Mother's Day. A Southwest Florida mother who survived a devastating tragedy prepares to welcome a newborn into the world. For the first time, Megan Davidson is talking to Wink News. She was struck by lightning last year. Her heart stopped and that of her newborn son, baby Owen. He died two weeks later. And tonight, Megan relives that day and looks ahead to her new blessing. Are you ready? Megan Davidson loves being a mom. I guess the snuggles. Yeah. <laughs> but when they come up to you and they just want to be held, that's my favorite part. But last June, at nine months pregnant, her life changed. It seems kind of surreal. Like it doesn't really, I don't know. I'm not like, wow, I got struck by lightning. Megan tells me she was just days away from meeting the newest member of her family when she was struck by lightning right here. I was having irregular contractions throughout the day because I was about a week before my due date. What do you remember about that day? Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. I probably like a week prior and about five days after. I don't have any memory. Both Megan and her newborn baby's heart stopped. Baby Owen died two weeks later. We lost a child after I was struck by lightning. Getting pregnant again hit is really exciting. Right. We didn't know if she was going to be able to be pregnant again after, you know, going through a uh, emergency C-section and just we didn't know what the damage the lightning had done. Just her remarkable recovery and how like God just pulled her through it so fast. Megan and her husband Matt are now expecting again, but baby Owen isn't forgotten. We donated what organs were salvageable. We don't know who got them or anything. Just knowing he's in heaven brings yeah, comfort. Absolutely. The Davidsons say their faith community was an amazing support system since their tragedy. And on this Mother's Day, their hearts are filled with gratitude. When I laid down last night, I was like just so thankful just to have everyone in the house, everyone healthy and well, and just, uh, you know, because that very easily couldn't couldn't have been the situation. Definitely want to point out that God is good all the time, like right. even amongst tragedy and trials and pain, even though it doesn't make sense, he has a plan. And the Davisons thank the entire Southwest Florida community for their outpour last year and baby Ozzy is due on October 3rd.